and today is Tuesday, June 1st, 2021. It is, it is our last full day of school. Make sure you return to Bearsville tomorrow, because it's still a school day, but it will be a 1230 early dismissal. Happy birthday to Mason and Mrs. Mensinger's room, and Noah and Mrs. Starr's class. You'll have to stay tuned to listen if there will be a mindful moment today, and if so, take a moment to rela relax during that time. We hope that everyone has a great full day of school. Today in history. On June 1, 1968, Helen Keller dies in Easton, Connecticut at the age of 87. Blind and deaf from infancy, Keller become, became a world-renowned writer and lecturer. Helen Adams Keller was born on June 27, 1880 on a farm near Tuscumbia, Alabama. A normal infant, she was stricken with an illness at 19 months, probably scarlet fever, which left her blind and deaf. For the next four years, she lived at home, a mute and unruly child. Special education for the blind and deaf was just beginning at the time, and it was not until after Helen's sixth birthday that her parents had her examined by an eye physician interested in the blind. He referred to Kellers to Alexander Graham Bell, the inventor of the telephone and a pioneer in teaching speech to the deaf. Bell examined Helen and arranged to have a teacher sent to her from the Perkins Institute for the Blind in Boston. The teacher, 20-year-old Ann Sullivan, was partially blind. At Perkins, she had been instructed how to teach a blind and deaf student to communicate using a hand alphabet signaled by touch into a student's palm. When Keller was 14 years old, she entered the Wright Hummison Deaf School for the Deaf in New York City. Two years later, with Sullivan at her side and spelling into her hand, she enrolled at the Cambridge School for Young Ladies in Massachusetts. Heller became an accomplished writer, publisher, and among other books, The World I Live In, Out of the Dark, My Religion, and Helen Keller's Journal, and Teacher. My life has been happy because I have had wonderful friends and plenty of interesting work to do, Helen Keller once wrote, adding, I seldom think about my limitations, and they never make me sad. Perhaps there is just a touch of yearning at times, but it is vague, like a breeze among the flowers. The wind passes, and the flowers are content. Good morning, Bearsville. It's Mr. Morgan here. Now, most of you might remember that Mrs. Byer will return next year to continue teaching music here at Bearsville, which means when you come back next fall, I will no longer be here. Most of you also knew that this was my first year as a music teacher, which means before I was at Bearsville, I had never taught music before. So to start this year, I was pretty nervous, considering I had never tried this job before. But throughout the whole year, we've had some great times together, from learning dances from all over the world, to singing some pretty silly songs, and playing great games together, and learning awesome things about music. But re what really struck me about Bearsville was the amazing people. Every staff member, every adult, and every student has just been amazing and spectacular to work with, to meet, and just to know as people. So I guess to wrap up my first year as a teacher, I just wanted to extend a very heartfelt thank you to everyone here at Bearsville, to all the students, all the staff, all the adults here that work very hard to make this place run as amazingly as it does. Thank you. To my K through fourth friends, I hope you have a great time with Mrs. Byer and the rest of the teachers at this school for the rest of your time. And to my fifth grader friends, I hope you have a great time moving on to middle school and to high school. It's a little bit nerve wracking, but I know you're all prepared for it. So Barrysville, thank you for an awesome first year. I could not have asked for anywhere better to have spent it. Thank you. Hey, we'd like to go ahead and end the announcements. Um, but before we do, we hope that you have a super day learning here at Bearsville. And um, we just want to remind you about this Bearsville expectations. Strive to do your best. Take responsibility for your actions. Always be safe. And respect everyone. At this time, we're asking everyone to please stand for the playing of the national anthem. And then you'll do the pledge in your classroom. Have a great day, everyone.